What's up? What's going on? Well, uh, I just covered all my equipment and I'm in the middle of painting my walls. Now, some of you guys are gonna be like, God damn, you're painting the wall with the Wilson audio right in front of it. Don't worry about it. Nothing happens. It's all good. First of all, it's water-based, number one. So it's not oil-based, okay? Secondly, believe it or not, I'm shocked at the mess this does not make. I've already tested it on that wall. Nothing. Not even on the carpet. Nothing begins to, like, nothing sprays everywhere. So I'm very shocked. But you can see my walls are, they need a touch-up. See what I'm saying? So the goal is to get them to look, you know, all nice again. And, of course, the carpet will be replaced this weekend. So I'm just trying to get a head start. The acoustic panels have been um, ordered. So they'll be here Thursday. And those will go on hopefully Friday after I clear the room. So for now, what I'm doing is simply my walls working around the equipment that I still have here. Okay. And then that's it. That's how I do things, man. All by myself too. All alone. No help of any kind. <laughs> It's been four years since I've done this, okay? The room has been, it's four years old by now. So I think it was time to give the room a facelift, you know, and, uh, you know, make it look nicer, you know, make it look a lot more presentable, you know, re kind of reinvigorate my desire to be here in this room. So if you're wondering why I didn't paint it in another color, the reason for that is um, I have a projector. You can't really get funny with projectors with wall colors and you have a projector because the projector, the projector will shine on the walls and then it looks like shit. So you need darker colors. So I proceeded to stay with the same. I like it, to be honest with you. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, some may call the color a little feminine, but I really do like the color with the white. I wish I could do white on the acoustic treatments, but I can't do white. So um, you guys will get to see what I do here. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got going on right now. A lot of work. I'll give you guys more updates as time passes, okay? Um, and uh, you'll get to see the madness of my lab, Jay's Audio Lab. This is a reason. This is a reason. There is a reason why it's called Jay's Audio Lab, okay? So we'll continue. To keep, you know, I'll continue to grind here day in, day out uh, until the room is finally finished. Uh, I've been working late nights right now. It is very late. It is 9 p.m. at night right now as I shoot this video. As you know, I work my regular job. As soon as I close my laptop, I start working on my projects. This is right now the biggest project I have going on. Uh, but I do it, you know, with a lot of, like, pleasure. Okay, I haven't touched my room in a long time. So, and some of you have been very critical of the fact that <laughs> my room is like in a garage and it's a conversion, all kinds of critics. But I promise you, when you see it soon, you are gonna think twice. You're gonna think if really a garage is not a proper room or it's not the right environment, I should say, for a dedicated room. I got news for you actually. I know of someone else with these speakers who also has a room built inside a garage. Yes, okay, so you'll be surprised at what can be done when you spend the right money, build the right room, um, and not be concerned with the fact that it was a garage in its previous state. I don't think it really matters if you do it right. I personally think I've done it right those of you who have been in my room can definitely, definitely vouch for what I'm saying here uh, because I don't think anyone has been disappointed with what they've heard, the times they've been in here. Well, it's only going to get better now because I have ran my entire room through Vicoustics. There's a special thing that Vicoustics does, which is a 3D, D, uh, it's kind of like a 3D uh diagram where you send them the specifications of your room, the length, the height, the width, the distance from these 
uh, lights to the side wall, to the rear wall, wall, where you're seated, the position of the speakers, how far away you're from the wall. They create, they do a computer generated diagram of your room. And, they, and this computer knows, by the way, where your problem areas are as far as the, as far as the frequency response. And so it has a way of understanding where you could possibly use some room treatment. So this is what you're gonna get to see, okay, pretty soon when I'm done, okay? I'm going by what they sent me, a lot of acoustic treatments. we got diffusers now coming in. We got a lot of absorption. We got more room treatment that, than you've ever seen in my room. But I think you all are going to love what you're gonna see. I'm working very, very hard to make my experience better hopefully you can take a thing or two from what I'm trying to do and put it to use in your own room. I know some of you all are have um, I know some of you all have living rooms that you use for your particular needs because you don't have a dedicated room. I do not have the luxury of using my living room because of course, as you know, I have a daughter, so if I blast music, she wakes up and then we have a whole bunch of issues, bunch of problems. So that's why I had to take my entire production, my whole lab into the garage and built this dedicated room with its own AC system, by the way. This room does not share the AC system that the, that the house has, so I have my own climate control here. It's very quiet. I can blow my eardrums completely and nobody will hear me inside the house, which is a plus. I know that if you right now, if you right now are considering the possibility of building your dedicated room and your two car garage, this is a former two car garage, by the way, I'm going to tell you that I strongly recommend that you do that. Okay. For me, if I'm being honest, we never parked the cars inside the house. All we had were a bunch of boxes, uh, things laying around, and we kept collecting more crap, things that we didn't use. And so we decided that, you know what? We do not even park the cars inside. So why not use the garage for something that we can all benefit from? This is the reason why I have a projection screen, a Sony projector, because this is like a almost like a family room, I would say, because I do my two channel here, but I also watch Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, and you know, pay-per-view movies, you name it. And so it definitely does both jobs really, really well. And I'm using it more than ever. I mean, now that I think about it, it is the best decision I've ever made. Look, here in Florida, we don't have basements. Clearly, okay, I'm 20 minutes away from the water. There is no basements, okay? There's absolutely no basements in Florida. So all you can do is, you know, have your dedicated room in a space where you don't disturb the rest of your family, okay? So if you have no family and you're by yourself, then you'll have nothing to worry about. But the reality is most of us are married, girlfriend, wife, spouse, you name it. Um, and so there's always that complain coming from them. Hey, it's too loud. Turn it down. Hey, um, you know, I can't go to sleep. And I was sick of those things. I was so tired of it. You can't even believe it. So being here now and doing what I need to do, okay, to run the YouTube channel, to give you guys great content, it is the best investment I have ever made so far painting it making it look fresh again making it look nice again so that i can hopefully do another three to four years in here and who knows what the future may hold i have no idea if i'm going to stay here forever or i'm going to go into a bigger home the reason why a bigger home might be appealing to me is obviously because of the space however keep in mind do to do what i do okay to do what i do every day I can't have a room inside the house. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work because I invade my family's privacy. If I have people coming over that want to buy something, let's say they're coming to listen to an amplifier they're interested in buying that I'm selling. I can't have people walk through my main door and invade my family's privacy. This is why my dedicated room has to have another entry point so that I can bring in whoever I want in here and I don't disturb the rest of the house. Everyone is happy. I can be here listening to music until two o'clock in the morning and all is well the next morning, which was not the case 
when I had my room in the living room. Okay, so once again, if you are thinking about the possibility of turning your garage into a two channel or an audio dedicated room or a family room or whatever you want to call it, I strongly recommend that you do that. It's well worth the investment and I would do it again and again and again. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. More updates to come.